Hello. Uh, you may not be able to tell, or maybe you can now, that I've substantially lost my voice after releasing the rage on the weekend. That's Darcy Angelo's amazing reclaiming anger workshop. It was so full on and so phenomenal and exactly what I needed to fully own and accept the, the really fiery passion in me. And, yeah, I've really, I've really been nice for a really long time and have suppressed my anger and suppressed my rage and held my tongue and not always been really clear and firm in my boundaries because I don't want to upset people and because I'm so empathic and sensitive and I can feel when someone's in pain or when they're triggered, I don't want to be the cause of someone's trigger, not that you can actually, like, make anyone feel anything people's feelings are their own and that was a huge part of it as well like taking responsibility for your own feelings and taking responsibility for your emotions and I just wow so good if you want to do some work on actually reclaiming and owning one of the most powerful feelings that we actually have access to that is given such a bad rap, I definitely recommend doing it. I mean, we got to throw tantrums and learn amazing skills with dealing with people who are in anger. For me, that's been my biggest thing to deal with, which is actually when people get angry around me, it feels like they're angry at me or in me, like I feel terrified. I felt terrified. I feel like that's changed now. And that would trigger me into this like deeply emotional, traumatized little girl state. And it's like, it's not very helpful, is it? So really being able to be in that space with people really fully unleashing their anger and me being given full permission, not just permission, but encouraged to fully unleash it and not just unleash it, but at great volume. And as many people know, if I go, no, they're all right. <laughs> Just checking my sweaty armpits. I just went for a nice walk, so I'm feeling inspired to share. So yeah, throwing throwing tantrums and being being around people getting really, really angry used to really like bring it up for me, but being able to create some boundaries around that. And so interesting learning about the different feelings of joy and anger and and sadness and fear and how they all come together. And <coughs> even though it's a bit of a bugger that I've done some minor short-term damage on my vocal cords and my throat, I actually feel stronger. I feel more calm. I feel more integrated and whole in myself. I feel like I've had such a strong relationship with sadness and with anxiety or fear and with joy. But anger has been something that I have just pushed away pretty much or has been unexpectedly unleashed on someone or or I just haven't really allowed to, to connect with it. And I and I feel more energized. And because I'm doing a lot of work with clearing my liver with traditional Chinese medicine, getting acupuncture and drinking these delicious herbs twice a day, um, I really feel clearer from doing that amazing workshop. Jeez, I've been going on a bit. But that's okay. I'm allowed. I'm allowed to express myself. <laughs> I'm allowed to express my truth. And that's what my work's all about as well you know, really expressing your truth, really allowing your voice to be heard. And I feel like I give people so much permission for their voices to be heard, for them to fully shine and step up and be all that they are. And so for me to be given that same permission was just so precious. And I'm so grateful for that, to be told that my bigness is okay, my bigness is allowed, and that it's it's welcome and that it's wanted and my volume is okay. <laughs> oh, all through school, shh, Claire, be quiet. Claire, you're too loud, Claire. Well, <laughs> oh, so good, so good. Yeah, 
so building a new map around anger and my my passion and my my drive and my authenticity and my boundaries and my space and and my purpose and my passion and my voice which <laughs> will be exciting when that fully comes back but thank you I just felt like making a little video today and hopefully it made some sense and also if it spoke to you in some way about your emotions and, and you really wanting to have um, a better relationship with your emotions and with the emotions of other people around you and <clears throat> in particular your relationship with anger maybe you have suppressed anger maybe you've been told that you're passive aggressive I don't know <laughs> Um, but it, it really works for everyone. If you've got lots of anger or you haven't quite been able to tap into it, I definitely, definitely recommend working with Stasi and Gero. They're absolute top notch. They hold amazing space, really, really solid. And I have a lot of respect for those two bringing this work out from under the the shadow of darkness you know anger is not a bad thing anger is not a dirty word we don't have to feel unsafe we don't have to feel like it's destructive or traumatizing or we're going to be triggered by it I've got heaps of notes here that I took on the weekend it's really yeah totally awesome I definitely recommend definitely recommend <laughs> getting involved so um yeah love you Stacey and Gero I love all my fellow humans and I feel like this is important important work so jump on board <laughs>